kind of emotional. Two of these mamas in here are from my original herd when I very first started in 2018. Hey guys, we are at Hamam and Kevin's at the Dunbar place. I am just backed up to the, the gooseneck trailer. I'm gonna get the trailer hooked up. We're gonna pull out here into the pasture with Eleanor's little bull and we're gonna back up into our loadout area. trailer hooked up we are excited I'm a little nervous Kevin's caught some bison for us we've got to sort them out and we're moving some bison today we'll tell you where they're going she, she said where's Clevin at there he is right there Catch bison. Cameras. got the Dunbar herd caught and uh, they're all down here in this pen and now it's time to gate cut them because we are loading three mamas out today and we are moving them today. All right.
Lots of cabbages. We need to, we know we, we've talked about doing something different right here. What are we doing? We are, there's nothing wrong with the way it is. This needs to be solid. This, we're going to have to cover this. We're going to have to cover this. We're going to have to cover this. Where they, they can't see. Yeah, where they can't see and where people can stand there and video or something. It's going to have to be, really it's going to have to be portable. It's going to be portable. Yeah. Can't. Look at that. Yeah. He's goofy. He is goofy. Yeah, it's open. Ready, Kevin? Okay, got them all in the front. They're settling down. A little stirred up. What do you want? All right, we've got three mamas loaded up here. We got a little hairy, uh, sorting them, but um, Kevin and I knocked it out and uh, Marissa is filming, so. But we've got uh, three mamas in here. We got two of my originals. We got Peaches, Bellstar, and then Kit, who uh, came with Big Joe a couple years ago when we got Big Joe and two cows. So, time to hit the road. We are headed uh, headed to another place. We're circling around in the uh, lot right now where I've got a couple of bulls, but we're making a big loop here so we can get out, uh, make a straight run through with this 24 foot trailer. It's kind of hard. Um, so. And then uh, we're going to take these three mamas uh, to a new home and um, kind of excited but nervous at the same time. Two of these mamas in here are some of the first ones I raised, so it's kind of a kind of interesting feeling. Is he trying to get out? <laughs> uh, Eleanor's bull is a pain in the butt. Are you open the big gate or the slide? Well, I like to open the big gate for bigger animals, so. Gotcha. Okay. It'll open this way, and now you've got a block this way and a block that way. Yeah. But we gotta get those calves out of there. I was just gonna go do that. You can run them out. Yeah, run them out of that. <clears throat> and then you gotta lock all that up. Use them in a couple of months. I 
actually better not put them there. We are at the Ponderosa. We've got three cows with us, like I've said. We got Peaches, we got Bell Star, and we got Kit. And uh, I'm getting a water trough filled up right now um, because what I'm going to do uh, just west of our barn is one of these holding pens. It's not that big. This is actually where we run the bison through when we work them. And uh, I just moved some panels real quick and uh, to get them out of the way to open this up a little bit. But one of the reasons I'm putting them here is this pin is, it's a tough pin. It's part of the corral that was already existing here. It's tough and so I don't have to worry about it. But we're gonna unload these three mamas in here. And what I've done is I've locked the yearlings away. They're in pasture two. And so I've done that, I did that a couple of days ago and I've got pasture one open. And so what that means is, Big Joe and his ladies are in pasture, what I call three, four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly let them come up to this fence right here so that they can touch nose to nose and kinda, it's a warm introduction um, to the Ponderosa for these three mamas. Uh, they're able to come up, smell of each other, uh, touch noses, and kinda start that acclimation process um, when they uh, of the new mamas coming over to the Ponderosa now Big Joe has already been with these three mamas and so uh, This is where Kit gets to be reunited with Big Joe for the first time in over uh, Since we got the Ponderosa it's over a year. So there's eight with Big Joe and uh, Four of those are Texas two are from Peter Cole in Missouri and one of those is that we raised and then we have another female a 090 and she is from noah from a broken arrow bison up in kansas they're going to start mingling in because that's where those three mamas are going to go they're going to join the big joe herd which is super exciting let's unload them All right, guys, we are gonna let these three mamas out. I'm gonna let Marissa open up the gate for the first time. She's gonna let them out. So if you hear that buzzing sound, it's a drone. Just so you guys ever know, I uh, try to get a lot of live sounds of actually what's happening and stuff. But if you hear the buzzing, it is the drone. Just in case you guys were wondering. Hey mamas. So this is Bell Star, Peaches, and Kit. Um, remember, Kit came with Big Joe when we first got them in 2019. These two I raised, I uh, started uh, bottom when they were yearlings, so they were part of my first five bison. 
Um, as you can see here, Bell Star is the one that probably gets the most excited and uh, stressed out. Every year that we work bison, she is the number one stressor. What it does is the other two are pretty calm, but she'll stir them up just because of her being stressed out. So she got stressed out when Kevin and I, um, when Kevin pinned them up and then we started to work them, but she always gets, gets a little stressed out anytime that we pin them up and work them. So um, we're gonna let Big Joe and them in here so that they can come up. Hopefully they'll calm down a little bit. I know that she'll calm down, especially once I leave, they'll be okay. But I've got them some cubes. I'm gonna spread out for them real quick. Yeah, I'll see if she's getting her stressed out. All right, so we just let the Big Joe herd in this gate behind me. This is pasture three and four. Um, I call it three and four because eventually we'll split it up. But so we've got uh, Big Joe and eight breeding females um, right now, and they are in pasture one. Some of them are still kind of making their way through here. But the point of this is since they're in pasture one, they have access basically to the corral and to the red barn area where Marissa and I just unloaded the three cows from a mom and kevin's place so bell bell star is a little stressed out and i think um and that's just because she's in a tight pen and when you pin bison up in a tight pen that's just what happens some of them get stressed out this is just a nice little warm introduction for each other because those three have never met these uh cows from texas you know big joe has already been with these uh these cows that we brought over here so It'll be kind of a, a nice little intro to say hi and, and um, touch noses. And hopefully them three will settle down a little bit. So just gonna open up, they can come in and out. In a couple of days, we will let those three cows out and they will join the Big Joe herd. They've made their way up here. Some of them have come up here. They're able to touch noses. So came to catch it and see what was going on, see how this went. So you got a tail up right here. Come some of them. Big Joe had to stop for a snack protein tub see all the 
those tails up. Those are the new introductions. Like warnings. Yeah. Look at Big Joe. some sounds here. It's always fun to watch their behavior on things like this when new animals show up. I'm gonna let them do their thing, but uh, I'm glad I was able to be up here. Lucky the Big Joe Herd saw us uh, in the ATV and they came up to us so and followed us up here because their smells and everything, I'm letting them kind of do their um, say hello and introductions here. And uh, I honestly, could probably take these three cows and let them out right now with the big Joe herd since they're up here. Um, for me, it's a security thing. It's just a comfort for me uh, to keep them in this pen at least for a night. Um, and the thing is, is these three have already been with big Joe. Now they haven't been with some of these females like I've mentioned several times, but um, I feel a little bit better about coming out here tomorrow that the fact that Big Joe and them are up here now and, and doing this, uh, they're gonna let them calm down some and then we can let them out. Uh, the reason why I kind of don't just let them run and let them go is because you take a chance of them running through a, a, a fence that they don't know exists. Um, because when they get let out, the first thing they want to do is run and they want to check all your fences on a new property. They want to check your corners. And so that's one thing that we kind of can let them settle down, let them get used to each other a little bit and their new place, get some of those smells out of the way and then uh, we'll let them go. That's kind of how I like to do it, especially with young animals. These cows, I think we'll probably be able to let them out tomorrow by the way they're handling and that the fact that they've already been with big joe before it, it'll be interesting to see the boss cow competition because the 32 cow that's in here which is right here um she's sort of the boss cow of the big joe herd here at the ponderosa but kit is kind of the boss cow over with the dunbar herd or was so i don't know i'm excited to do this and a lot of you may are probably wondering why did you do this why did you bring those three cows over well guys this is the beginning process of bringing all of my breeding stock animals from mom and kevin's which is where the dunbar place is over here that's the plan is to bring them all over the reason i brought these three mamas over here is because uh they had their babies in may and so we already weaned their calves off of matter of fact their calves are right back here they've been here for about a month or so i brought them over to start the weaning process this is just the first stage and then those five mamas that are still over with dunbar their calves won't be weaned and probably until march and then we won't wait to separate them until April, which is when we typically work our bison. So that's what we'll probably wait on as we'll separate uh, the calves and those mamas, those five, and then we'll be able to bring over 
Dunbar and the rest of those mamas. We'll probably keep the calves there for um, the weaning part of everything, but we will eventually bring them all over. And here's the reason is guys, there's just more room over here. That's basically it. I've been very fortunate and blessed to have mom and Kevin um, help me get started on their property. And, you know, we basically started with five animals on about 20 acres. And uh, we've, I think Kevin and I have done a, a pretty good job of managing that. And we completely reinforced that. We converted a dairy farm into a bison farm uh, just to get started. And I've been blessed to, that mom and Kevin let me do that on, on some of their land over there. And, and, and We've, we've put time and effort into that place, new fencing, a, a new barn, a uh, handling facility and all that. And if you've been following us along since the beginning, which I know a lot of you have on here, uh, we appreciate that. And I know you've been a part of this long journey of where we started and where, we're, where we've been now. And that all goes back to two of these mamas here are part of that first group that I brought home as yearlings. Uh, Dunbar, Peaches, Eleanor is in that group. Bell Star. It's kind of an emotional thing to start this process because we've had them there for most of their life. They've been raised over there since 2018 and to bring them over here, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of new to us, but I've got more of a pasture rotation system that we can uh, apply. And then also a, re a regenerative agriculture mindset, we can apply that here. And, and Kevin helps a lot with that, with his background of, of regenerative ag and, and agricultural research, which is uh, his career. Um, so he can help us with that uh, as far as our farming and um, management techniques here at the Ponderosa. So all that being said, we are excited to start bringing animals over here so we can have a good foundation of breeding stock here at the Ponderosa. And we're gonna continue doing that. I know there's gonna be questions about where is Dunbar going and all that. That will be brought up whenever we bring Dunbar and the rest of those mamas over. So there is only six adults left at Mom and Kevin's. There's some other bison over there too. I got yearlings and, and, and all that. So, and don't forget about Eleanor. So, and I do want to give a big shout out to Kevin. Kevin caught the Dunbar herd and uh, pinned him up. So I uh, said, call me when you get him pinned up. And he called me, Marissa and Brooks and I showed up as soon as we could and uh, we cut him and Kevin does a great job of helping me do all that. And he's always on board with all of my shenanigans. And uh, he may tell me, say, Dusty, I don't know about that, but he's usually always on board and uh, we hit ideas off each other, but I'm thankful for Kevin to get him caught. And uh, we got it done today. Thank you for Marissa and I thank Kevin. Thank you guys for watching us today. Keep ranching.